Fresh cut, fresh trim, fresh new Arbiter. Let's go. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here, and we are messing around with Arbiter number two, fresh pull on the account, and to be honest, I love two Arbiters. I got very used to having two Arbiters on my original account, and as one of the best legendaries in the game, like, why wouldn't you want a second one? It is a little bit you know, a little bit sad because then you don't get a new champion, but she's better than the majority of other Void Legendaries, so definitely not complaining. She will be put to good use, maxed out on day one. Let's get it, okay? So, I wanted to talk about Arbiter, but we're going to specifically gear her for the Hydra today, but we'll get to that in a minute, okay? Most of you should build your Arbiter like this, okay? You should just go through and find the most speed on your banner. For me, that's 17, and I glyphed it. And then you should go through and you should find the most speed on all of your pieces. For me, that's 17, 18, 15, 15, or 14, and then I have one triple speed roll here, okay? And then you just find a pair of six-star speed boots. If you don't have a pair of six-star speed boots, then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to the campaign mode. You are going to come to Nightmare, and you are going to come over to the Palace of Arabia, Stage 6, okay? You can get three to six star speed gear, and as long as you have a pair of speed boots, right here, six speed on the speed boots, that's all you need. The substats are really quite less important, okay? I actually, I did this the other day in a takeover. I just went and I put about four or 500 energy. I leveled up some food along the way, and I found him a pair of six-star speed boots so that we could uh, re-gear uh, a champion for him, okay? And that's an easy way to get five extra speed on your Arbiter. Don't settle for five-star speed boots. Get six-star speed boots. Everyone has access to it. It's not that hard, okay? So, the majority of you should be thinking like that, okay? Let's, let's take a look at our Mystery Shard market. Perfect. Stock up for that mystery shard uh, conspiracy theory. And the and then let's hop back over to the Arbiter. So most everybody should be building their Arbiter like this. Like, I don't care what the stats are on this. This was accuracy, which is good. Okay. If it was flat defense, I would still be using this piece. Okay. And I'm going to show you an example of that in a second here. The other key feature for Arbiter is this mastery right here, and that is um, Lore of Steel. Increases the base set bonuses of all artifact sets by 15%. So you're going to get a boost to all of the speed that you have on her just for that, okay? Now, I know a lot of you know this, but for those of you who don't, I just need to make sure that I share that. Also, she is obviously worth booking all three of her ability, all four of her abilities, excuse me. So I will be booking Arbiter number two as my main next priority, I think. So, um, that's the main way that you build Arbiter, okay? Now, if you don't have, like, let's say you don't have a good shield, then you would just want to come in here and you would want to find an offset shield with the most speed on it, right? Like, what, what was this? Speed 11. I mean, like, I'm sure that I have some shield down here that has, you know, multiple speed rolls. But uh, right there. As a good example. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as a good example, we could easily put that on her. And then if we had either a weapon or a um a weapon or a helmet, 
with a triple or, or if we're blessed enough to have a quad speed roll then so be it um i actually i wonder if this might add some more speed let's look at equipped because i know that i i have some good gear here don't want to take leos 17 would go down two. Interesting. So it would have to be a triple. Um, this part of the video unplanned. <laughs> that was a coincidence. I am going to look into that, though, because if I have a triple speed roll helmet or weapon, then that could definitely be worth that could definitely be worth pursuing. I don't want to just sit here and click through gear. Is it this one? 18 and 2? I mean, that's pretty close to being a viable option. But you see, uh, it takes a lot to overcome those numbers, right? Like, I, I would literally have to have a quad or a triple to have more speed than my just like double speed five star gear you know what i mean so keep that in mind that it's it's not likely but it does happen sometimes yeah i i'm not remembering any triples um i mean i'm not saying i don't have them but it's hard to memorize all of the gear on your account i mean there's a triple but it's only 18 that doesn't really count. And I can't think of any other pieces that I would have. So anyway, I, I will think about that as an option. But for the most part, this is how you should be building your Arbiter, okay? But today, I want to explore a couple different ways you can build your Arbiter, right? So if you're going for the normal speed Arbiter, one of the best options is actually uh, Swift Parry. So if you are getting uh if you are getting this type of gear or the the core hammers to forge this gear, I recommend using the speed um actually let's just hop over there real quick. That would that would be easier so you can visualize. When you're crafting swift parry, I would highly recommend rank and rarity charms and then speed charm. And if you don't have speed charms, I would suggest waiting until you have a speed charm because Swift Parry is great with speed. Your other option would be crit rate, okay? Crit rate gear is obviously going to be for a nuker, but that's the two main ways that you want to build Swift Parry, in my opinion. You know, for a nuker or for speed. And so those would be your options there. But that's how I was able to get this Swift Parry gear that I have on my account was by doing it exactly like that. Okay, we're going to put boots on you because you're the faster one. All right, so how would we go about this? Okay, well, if we're trying to build this for speed, then we would come over here and we would find our banner with the most speed. And we would put it on her. Um, so we're going to go into the fitting room. And I think the one I want to use is this one. It is not quite the fastest. Like I could use this one. It is 14. But this one gives me a lot better overall stats. So I would be willing to sacrifice two speed for that. Um, it was unfortunate we didn't hit speed there. But until I find a double speed roll, that's the one I would use. Okay, your ring and your banner, or your ring and your amulet don't matter for this currently. Okay, so then we want to take a look at all of our Swift Parry gear with speed on it. Now, uh, I have some double rolls that are quite nice. This one, yep. I think it's this helmet, yep. So that's two different 17s. I don't think that my shields are great. I think the best is that 13. I have this pair of gauntlets but that's only 12 and then the crit rate gauntlets have 15 so i think i would go with that and then as far as uh as far as chest plates i have 16 on the chest here but it's flat attack 
or I could choose 15 that's on my Valkyrie right there. So I would probably choose that one. But for this, let's just use, let's use this because that will, I think this will, I think, I don't know if I would take it off Valkyrie to be honest because this is, this is a really good chest for her, the accuracy with speed. I'd have to find, I'd have to see if I had another chest for her. So then after that, you would be looking for probably the speed set to supplement that, but you could also supplement with divine speed as an option as well. Where are you, Divine Speed? I have one pair. Yeah, you could use Divine Speed if you had uh, a good shield to pair with that. You could use Perception if you had a good shield to pair with that. But for me, I don't have those things. You know, my Perception and my uh, Divine Speed are like single, single or, yeah, I think just single speed rolls. So I would probably be taking these boots or these boots and I kind of like those on Deacon, so we'd probably be taking these ones. And then probably uh, if I was building Arbiter for speed here, which I think that this is going to be an option, I would take Deacon's shield. Because that's my other triple speed, or both shields, and this has a max glyph. So that would put Arbiter at 296, okay? And for a lot of you, that's exactly where your Arbiter is at right now. So it's definitely worth checking the Swift Parry gear to see if Arbiter uh, could be faster in this gear. And here's the thing too, guys. Um, I also have glyphs, right? I have three six stars, two five stars, one four star. And so uh, that would go on, not the shield, but one, two, three, four, five. I'd have five pieces with basically a minimum of three speed on each of them. So that's going to be at minimum 15 more speed. And at most, it could be like 30 more speed. So actually, I could have two Arbiters at basically 330 if the Glyphs rolled well on this. And that's something I'm definitely considering doing uh, because then I will have two extremely good arena teams. So, um, that is not the build that I'm going to use here today, but that is the build that I'm going to suggest as an option for you, okay? So, that's another way to build a very fast Arbiter, okay? Today, what I want to focus on, I know it's taken 12 minutes to get here, but uh, I want to focus on a build for Doom Tower, now, if you're going to focus on a build for a Doom Tower, then here is my opinion of how you should gear her. We're going to take a defense ring. And this one from Arbiter is not great, but honestly, it's the best one I have. I know that that's crazy, but I just can't get a good defense ring on this account for High Elves. So I'm going to keep farming gear looking for that. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the defense amulet, but I'm looking for resistance on the substats, okay? So let's take that one. And then on the banner, I am going to be looking for resistance on the banner, okay? Now, this is a completely different way to build Arbiter. We're not as concerned about speed, and you're going to see that in a minute here. Okay, so now I either want HP or defense percent on the gloves, okay? Some good options would be speed. Um, I was also looking at uh, these gloves, which are in the resistance set. These are a pretty nice pair of gloves, but this unfortunate stats here, but they do help. They don't do nothing. They do help. But I think what I would go with is actually something from these new sets, okay? Stone skin and protection are bonkers good, guys. I'm not going to get into all of the details about those sets today. I might do that in a future video. But, man, if you ever need an offset piece, come straight here, okay? Because just for having this, you're going to get 8%. These are the only two sets in the game that you get a bonus for having one piece. And that is simply incredible. 
Um, if you are building Hydra Champions for survivability, you need to think old school clan boss. And that means high defense, okay? Now, you also want HP percent as well. And I do want some speed. So I think that I'm going to take this chest off of my Rector. It has triple resistance and speed. Granted, the attacks are not that great, uh, but it has HP percent for survivability as well. Okay. Now we would probably be looking for some other pieces in speed and some other pieces in stone skin to match those. Okay. So um, let's just do like this. Yes. Okay, now I think that Rector has a helmet with really good stats. Yes, speed, triple resistance, flat defense. Okay, granted we wish it was defense percent. Beggars can't be choosers. So I think that is a great pairing. Those two things go really well together. And that would leave me trying to use stone skin on the rest of these pieces let's see if we have some viable options all right so i know that these boots are decent for what we're doing here the ones on uh norog because it has resistance hp flat defense flat hp if you're going to have flat stats you might as well have the defensive ones if you're building a defensive champion let's take that what is this shield HP, defense, resistance. That is everything I'm looking for. And then that would give us this 8% HP, 40 resistance, 15% defense. So good. Now, we could try to put a weapon on here, but both of these are pretty bad. Like this one, I don't know. It's not that bad. But I'm not concerned about the stone skin buff against Hydra. Like, I would want to be getting to the... The five pieces for the defense, I guess, but I'm satisfied with just the three pieces. So maybe let's take a look in protection over here for a weapon that might help us instead. Because on the weapon, you're getting 20 resistance just for the weapon, which is nutty. And then same thing here. You get 15% HP, 12% speed. So it's possible that we should be looking for a three-piece set on protection instead of stone skin. But I kind of like where we're at here. HP crit damage, double resistance, and speed. I mean, granted, the other two are not that helpful. Um, we could go for accuracy. Accuracy and speed, that could actually be a decent weapon. This one's all right. Eh, that one could be all right. And now we're over onto shields, which I kind of like the shield that we have over there. And then flat attack boots. Okay, I'm actually going to sell these. I, I don't know what we would do with flat, flat stat boots. Flat stat boots are just never a keep, in my opinion. So I think that this is the best one. Now let's take a look at our stats. 3,500 defense. Uh, 57,000 HP. 400 resistance, 100 accuracy, and our speed is not great. So I'm not too happy with the speed, but I do think that this is the build that I want to try. I do think this is the build I want to try. I would really have loved to get her up to like 320 speed. I wonder if I have a resistance banner with speed on it that has maybe a little bit not quite as good of other stats. Is that an option? This one would go down 46. I mean, if I ranked it up to 16, ooh, that's terrible. I mean, that's not great either. That's not great. I mean, we definitely could rank this up to six stars. I feel like that's kind of a waste. But that would add another nine speed. But it would lower our resistance. I think that I'm going to go ahead... I think I'm going to go ahead and equip like this and try this build, okay? Yes, uh, that is not quite as fast as I would like. 
However, we could glyph some more speed on here, right? We have no glyph there, no glyph there, no glyph there, no glyph there, and this doesn't even have speed. So, man, I really need some more good accessories for high elves. Defense rings, resistance banners with speed. Although, this one is pretty defensive, right? It does have the other stats. Like, if I could just... I lost my slipper. It seems unimportant to the video, but it is important to me. My feet's is cold. Okay, all right. Sorry about that little distraction. Okay, so if this flat attack down here was speed, man, I'd be loving this banner so much more. Plus, the chance to counterattack is great. All right, now the last thing that I want to mention about Arbiter, if you're building her for the Doom Tower specifically, are her Masteries. And these are the ones that I absolutely love. If I go this way, then you can see the War Master down there. And I really love Warmaster for Hydra. It's just essential, just like normal clan boss, right? That's how you're going to do a, a tremendous amount of your damage is from Warmaster. Okay, the second thing is I love the healing side of the support tree here, but we also have the accuracy part so that we can get the Lore of Steel as well. Okay, now on her... I guess Lore of Steel is insane on her, actually, because we're getting a bonus to all of these, and we're getting a bonus to this, and we're getting a bonus to this, so never mind, I take it back. <laughs> Lore of Steel is crazy on here. Uh, that is really, really good. So again, here's the total stats, and we will glyph some things as well, okay? Um, we would definitely glyph... All of this will be glyphed. All three of these would be glyphed. All of these will be glyphed. And everything that can be glyphed over here will be glyphed. So definitely she could improve there. But I think that this type of defensive build is going to be very good for the Hydra. She should not be taking all those debuffs like poison, um... What else? Poison or fear. Oh, wait, the fear can't be resisted, I think. But provoke. Um, any any debuffs, she should be resisting, at least on normal and hard. Maybe getting up into brutal and nightmare, maybe not. But, like, I don't know. Nobody can do that. Just <laughs> unless your account is insane. But I'm just working on hard. Hopefully, we'll get to brutal eventually. Uh, but that's where we're at right now. Tell me what you think of this build in the comments below. And tell me how you have your Arbiter built. Which type of build do you prefer? Is there another build that you like on your Arbiter? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next one.